today at Brainbox, we're inviting four interesting people who are active Singapore netizens to share with us their views on our online behaviors, whether we're Googling, Facebooking, Twitting, blogging, or commenting on other people's pictures or posts, are we socially conscious of how we behave on the net? So tell me guys, honestly, um, netizens, what is actually the definition of a netizen? It's a citizen on the internet. That's uh, what I feel. You, you don't, you can either contribute or don't contribute. Like it's like uh, any country, you don't have to, I mean, every everybody in the country has to contribute something but you don't have to actively be out there. Yeah, I, I was thinking that if I'm a sponge, somebody who goes on the internet and only receives, absorbs, rather than be out there to share, uh, am I considered an artisan? You're yeah. the silent majority. Yeah. Uh, but that plays no part in any expansion or you know. Honestly, I think that when you're on the net, people just look at your profile picture and then they judge you from there. So the better looking you are, Perhaps. the better is it for you? Yeah. For you? yeah. But it's not a real world, okay? I mean, yeah, it's not. I, I could put a picture of somebody else and say that I'm somebody else, yes. right? How, how is the truth in that, you know? This power to stay anonymous, I think uh, it is probably something new to a lot of people, yes. especially in Singapore. And I think, by and large, uh, the majority are pretty alright with managing this anonymous team. But I think there are people who do feel that because I'm anonymous, that I can say anything I want. Well, there's no place for racism anywhere. Of course. And I've seen people make really downright racist comments online just because they think that I'm using a fake ID, no one will know who I am. I think that that is that is immature to a certain level. How daring are these netizens? Do they really go all out by experience by what you've guys seen? Do they really not fear? Do, does this give them a platform to have a freedom of speech? Is there no holds bar? Uh, what have you guys seen? Can you share a few things with us? I'm observed TOC more. Yes. I, I'm, I'm not a fan of TRE. Uh, <laughs> and TOC, the, why, why, why I'm possibly invited? Because I'm probably quite neutral here, there. Uh, and there are lots of people slamming uh, the machine, the current machinery, which is the PAP and uh, the whole infrastructure. And right. Uh, sometimes without giving any due credit. I probably did A levels and you, you did general paper, and you know, yes. you, the teacher always said you're supposed to show pros and cons and then do the summary. Yes. And that's missing from the net. But why is it starting? Why, why is it missing from that? Because our mainstream papers have lacked that kind of analysis in the first place. I mean, thank God for PM Balji and to Today newspaper, which is pretty balanced. It, it shows a more well-rounded kind of discussion that I think educates the Singaporean populace on what is critical thinking, critical analysis, and then deciding, hey, I still prefer the current system or not, but where should I criticize when? And people like us would shift. There, 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 there's a whole huge middle ground. I mean, the PAP maybe now owns by twenty percent. The the opposition maybe owns about twenty percent. But there's a huge sixty percent to be won, and it's an educated sixty percent. Yes. But the thing is, are we going to suppress this sixty percent? Uh, I don't think it's possible anymore. Yeah, I I I, I honestly uh, agree with that. I don't think there's any possibility of curbing. Uh, the world of the internet. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't yeah, there, there are no more walls, you know. It is a space where people, uh, I would say, feel safe. Uh, uh, a gangster can be a gangster and uh, threaten somebody, but actually it's not a gangster. Yeah. People can make money, <laughs> right? The gangster, yes, the right? gangster. Okay, there's a difference between having to say something and having something to say. So there are people out there making videos and stuff which just they want to say something. The common man likes to see, like they don't like to see uh, things that are things that are important. They like to see, hey, this guy is slamming this guy. Ah, let's watch. Uh, hey, them bad no. Hey, chalat uh, Wow, this guy is cold. The guy no. They like to see this kind of rubbish, and this entertains people. Maybe, uh, maybe because the, the 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 less the less quality videos are getting all the viewership. You know. Yeah, I don't understand why. I mean, new people sells like crazy. Seventy cent for other people's misery, right? Yes. Right. 
we open the front page and then you know that there's something happening to other people because the first thing you listen to the uncle saying that wow hang on not my family yeah. so i think the net is exactly the same place there's no responsibility there's no holes bar people say what they like you now you're with young people every day they use this platform uh, without fear without knowledge and like steve said you know to have that responsibility I, 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 how do you see it? Yeah, naturally, because most of them are not mature enough to actually consider being considerate and responsible. And a lot of them become popular. For young Singaporeans, right, I have a feeling that if I talk nonsense and a lot of people view me, then I can make a living out of this. So number one, it promotes laziness. Number two, it promotes unprofessionalism. And number three, it promotes irresponsibility. And the problem right now is that and ability to do stupid things. Correct. And yes. the problem right now is that there's nobody to take care of them. Right. So I have young bloggers at age 14 that tell people how they slap their mothers. And they have a lot Yeah. And they have a lot of views and they become really popular. The problem is that if these people like don't set like certain ground rules or certain ethics or certain levels of professionalism then the younger folks in our industry, they're just gonna suffer because really they will grow up thinking, okay, I can block for a living. And you can, to be honest. To be honest, like Sasha is earning about 15000 a month just by blogging. Three three blog posts and she earns that amount. And then you say what? Whatever what, whatever she wants to say. And then at the same time you have young people who get a hundred dollars per blog post. And with a hundred dollars, let's say I do ten blog posts, I do twenty. I do one a day. I get two thousand dollars. I can. Yeah. I can. can buy survive. iPhone already. Yes, I can. Can buy BlackBerry. Yeah. <laughs> the the responsibility factor is gone. Uh, brands are supporting irresponsibility. You know, I myself just be. I'm gonna put a blog up or maybe a video up. Maybe you can film this. Muslim guy eating kway chap. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, that will get a lot. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That won't stop. That will Next week will be charged for us. Right. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm I'm gonna give you all just a nice brand new crispy. Uh, blank pieces of paper. Right. You can choose any color from here. Uh, please uh, just draw me a picture, a portrait. It could even be a line of what you feel uh, or how you feel about brain box. Uh, just a picture. It could be a coconut tree. It could be anything. Uh, uh, we got a very safe heart and love uh, by Alifia. Uh, pretty Chinese girl. Thank you very much. This one is by Terry. Is mad. I was talking to him about it. This is like a smile with a hidden agenda. Very you, bro. Very you, bro. Very you. Nice. Oh, yes. Althea. I like. Nice. And yes. Yong Siang. Literally. The brain box. I like this one. I like this one. Nice. Says a lot. Guys. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you very much for being here. Uh, I think you guys are sharing uh, with us your thoughts, uh, your feelings uh, have helped a lot. And hopefully that uh, it will be part of the path that leads up to 2020 of a more responsible internet and more responsible internet users. Seriously, uh, I hope this will not be the last time that we meet. Yeah, please uh, let's, uh, let's, let's try and come together and, uh, and uh, poke or evoke thoughts and feelings in others. Uh. So thank you very much guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. This has been Brain Box and uh, you've been provoked without. No